Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Discover 2016 Las Vegas. Brought to you by Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Now, here's your host, Jeff Frick. Hi, Jeff Rick here with theCUBE. We are live in Las Vegas at HP Discover uh, 2016. This is actually the first Las Vegas version of the new Hewlett Packard Enterprise version of Discover. We were here for the final HP Discover a year ago and a lot has changed and a lot of exciting announcements and we're here to talk about one of the most exciting ones that just came out today. So we're joined here by David Hunter, VP and Chief Technologist, Converge Data Center Infrastructure for Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Welcome. Thank you. And, and uh, CUBE alumni, you probably recognize Mariana Tessel, the EVP Strategic Development from Docker. Welcome, good to see you. Nice to see you. So big announcement today, David, tell us what was the big announcement concerning uh, HPE and Docker. Sure, so today we announced a strategic relationship between Docker and Hewlett Packard Enterprise. And we announced that we're going to go ahead and ship ready servers, Docker ready servers, uh, as well as converged uh, reference architectures and support for those coming right out of our uh, support organization, as well as uh, large go to market activities as well. Okay, so you, you touched on about four or five things, so let's sure. break it down. So there was an announcement, I think, from DockerCon last year. Uh, but this is a significant uptake in, in, the, uh, in the alliance. So you talked about a reference architecture. How's that going to play out? Yeah, so reference architecture, we've actually released two already. One is on a C700, where you can go and actually go ahead and it allows you to, it shows you how to install, how to uh, upgrade it, et cetera, and utilize it. Um, that's one way to do it. The other one is where we're going to go ahead and give examples of workloads on top of it. And the last one is we announced in this relationship that we're going to go ahead and release it also on our brand new HC380 hyperconverged platform, which uh, May talked about on the stage as well. So this is this is just like when you buy a phone, it's pre-configured with the apps. I buy a HP server, it's going to be pre-configured with Docker. Yeah, it's not just pre-configured, it's also pre-tested, pre-validated with Docker. That's a big part of this effort. No one else is doing that uh, with Docker. We think this is a great way for our customers to get value right out of the door. Awesome, well, Docker's certainly hot, hot, hot. We were at DockerCon last year. We look forward to coming up to Seattle in, in, in a couple of weeks. Um, so Mariana, what does it mean to partner with somebody like Hewlett Packard Enterprise for scale reach? Obviously, it's a big company. Docker's an exciting company, not quite that big. Yes, obviously, very significant partnership for both sides, but for us, it's uh, the leading infrastructure provider, and it was important for us to create a partnership there and get our stack um, on the on the well-known HP uh, stacks, and then with that, as David mentioned, there's a whole um, resell agreement and support and everything. And from a customer point of view, um, they're gonna get a very strong combined architectures with all the way from how the customer can engage with it to how they're gonna be supported and how they're gonna provide uh, how we're gonna provide services. So it's it's actually very meaningful, uh, both sides and customers. So David, um, why? I guess is the why is the reason. Was this demand from the customer base? You know, why why Docker and why now? Sure. So HPE wants to take a leadership position in in the up and coming DevOps and container world. No better way to do it with the leading vendor in in the container space. So we want to get out ahead of this. Go ahead and start building the ecosystem. Start driving demand for something that we really see as a key um, up and coming technology for the next uh, wave of computing. Yeah, and uh, Mariana, talk about how this whole container thing has changed the way people think about applications, deploy applications. We know a lot of it, you know, kind of our reference point if you're not in the enterprise space is our phone, right? You don't have to pay attention when you download an app to your phone, you just download it and it works, whether you've got an Android, an old Android, an iOS or whatever. But it's really started to change the way that people perceive applications, how they should work, how they should be installed, and how they should be developed on. Absolutely, it's hard to talk about containers without talking about microservices and how applications fundamentally have been have been changing. Uh, now they're part of like many microservices together uh, are uh, used to create an application. And with that, the whole development process has changed as well. You have to deal with like different scale, much more automation, much more um, different tooling around it, et cetera, et cetera. And, and uh, containers really helped enable that whole transformation that's going on in the industry. All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty, David. So, 
again, kind of timing, when is GA, when can we start to see this on the marketplace? So you're going to probably see this around the end of our Q4, so October timeframe. That's uh, kind of where we're targeting. Okay. And will we see you in Seattle in a couple of weeks? You know, unfortunately, I have to be somewhere else. I wish I was going to go. I was at DockerCon Europe where, where we caught back up, but uh, the next one I'll definitely be there. Okay, well, there's not much more beautiful places in the world than Seattle in July as opposed to Seattle in November, which is uh, good for watching football. All right, well, thanks for taking a few minutes. Exciting news, and we look forward to, uh, to the rollout in the GA. Sure, thank you. Oh, nice talking to you. Nice talking to you, too. <laughs> All right. Jeff, Rick, Mariana, David, we are HPE Discover Las Vegas 2016. You're watching theCUBE. See you next time.